Hi everyone, this is your story for Wednesday, March the 25th. It's one of my favorite books. I've read it a couple times at school, but I wanted to share it with all of you. It's an old book. In fact, as you can see, it's kind of torn and tattered, and it's actually, the cover is a little bit dirty because I've read it so many times. The book was written in 1971. I would read it to my second graders when I taught school, which was about 35 years ago. And also I would read it to my son as he was growing up. And of course, all of my classes uh, throughout all of the years. But I love this book. It's called, Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze. It was written by Patricia Thomas and it was illustrated by Wallace Tripp. And also before I get started, this isn't just for our pre-primary and lower L, it's for our whole school because even our eighth graders are young at heart. And I hope you enjoyed this story. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear it's clear, oh dear. You'd better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail, thumbling and bumbling your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. Oh no, oh no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees, the branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away, we didn't get back until the very next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers, they shook for hours. The last time you sneezed, even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please don't sneeze. With a shriek, the parakeet opened his beak. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock tails and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess. Very confusing and not too amusing. Even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please don't sneeze. Fly, fly, called the birds to the bees. The elephant says that he is going to sneeze. Oh no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off all our stings and our wings, and we had to make do with thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please. And that's a little hard on a bee's knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please, oh, please don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant says he is going to sneeze. Oh, please not a sneeze, said the bear. That's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair and left me so bare. I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't you laugh, almost bent in half. And the alligator's snout, it was turned inside out. The last time he sneezed, a sniff or a snuff is bad enough. But a sneeze, oh please, oh please don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. 
Oh my, do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, you would if you could. The last time you blew off all of our scales from our heads to our tails and our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin. If you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please don't sneeze. Well, the zebra yelled, yipes, there go all my stripes. Plus lots and lots of the leopard spots and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, a lot of us will fall right on our bottomus if you sneeze. So please don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friend, said the elephant so sadly. About all of this, I do feel very badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I would do it gladly, but I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. You must run, you must fly, you must hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. Boo! Shouted a little gray mouse, jumping just out of his house. He stood right up on his little tiptoes. He stuck out his tongue and he wiggled his nose. Eek! Shouted the elephant, jumping up in the air. That's a mouse, that's a mouse standing over there. I must hide in a tree before he gets me or jump in the lake for goodness sake. Don't scare me, please spare me. The mouse laughed, oh poo, now what could I do to you? A little thing like me to a big thing like you. I only wanted to give you a scare and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know? Laughed the elephant. That's so. It's astounding, confounding. As I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. <laughs> that's the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho ho he ha ha, he giggled, he chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed until he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees and the stings fell off all of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where. And all the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe was bent in half and the alligator's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yikes, there go my stripes. While the hippo went thump right on his plump, well, you know what. And into a puddle, the mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad you don't have to sneeze. But if you must laugh, laugh softly. Oh, elephant, please. I hope you enjoyed our story today.